Hi guys, I'm Lucy and welcome to your Game E3 daily update from the final day of this year's show. And one of the biggest games on the floor was Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity is about the story of Arnold Victor Dorian, a um, young guy from Versailles who actually grows up and gets introduced into the Assassin Guild and eventually to the conflict between the Assassin and the Templar. Assassin's Creed Unity is a redemption story for Arnaud, taking place with the background of the French Revolution. For us, the, um, Paris was a, was a star that we need to use as a playground. Uh, it's so much a rich city. French Revolution is a good mix also for the Assassin's Creed franchise. And we decided to use that because it's rich in terms of history, but it's also um, rich in terms of gray zone within that history that we can exploit and create intrigue around it. Unity was bring everything together. We had separate multiplayer before that. We, we need to unite everything. We call it shared experience. Uh, it's part of uh, playing with your friends in a toy in the open world, playing mission with your friends, also exchanging items and, uh, and, and gears and level up. So uh, that's, that's part of the shared experience. What we saw on the, on the trailer and what we saw in a playable demo is actually the, the graduate mission. So it's four players. You, uh, you can you actually can do everything you do in single player usually you can do it in multiplayer on multiplayer so that means like assassinating buying being four guys stealth navigation fight and everything I think that's the that's the major leap we've done in a, for the next gen title a new IP was announced last year at Sony's press conference and this year here at e3 we could finally get our hands on it it's the order 1886. The Order 1886 is a third-person shooter uh, based in London in the Victorian era. Uh, we play as Galahad, who is a knight who's been embroiled in a central Zeld battle and he's now starting to question his role in this war. We like to think of this as an alternate, alternate universe where we can reasonably make sense of why these things exist. We haven't gone into too much detail as to precisely how that works. I mean, We've got a really, really um, interesting storytelling mechanic in that we really want you to engage in the environment and pick up bits and pieces so you can piece together what's happening in this world. In terms of the type of action, this is pretty unique, I'd say, in all honesty. A lot of people say, still say steampunk, but we don't see it as steampunk. In a weird way, if you were to think about the, the, the era itself, you could say that Tesla has inspired a lot of what we see in game at this particular point in time. We have Galahad, we'll have characters like uh, Lafayette, who you've seen in here, Percival and Isabeau. These are the characters who effectively make up your team. Um, again, we haven't gone into too much detail with the individuals themselves, but it's safe to say that they've known each other a very, very long time and they have a solid bond that we are going to play and pluck the heartstrings with over the course of the game. Switching up the cops and robbers genre with a whole buttload of explosions is Battlefield Hardline. Battlefield Hardline is a new take on the Battlefield universe. As you know, Battlefield is traditionally a military game, whether it's set in the jungles of Vietnam or the future of 2142. What we're changing with Battlefield Hardline is we're putting in a cops and criminals fiction. So that's the biggest change we've got. And I think a lot of fantasies immediately spring to mind when you think of cops and robbers or cops and criminals, right? You think about robbing banks, you think about getting the loot and escaping with it, you think about driving a stolen car, all those kinds of things we've got for you in Battlefield Hardline. I don't think the idea of cops and robbers is necessarily new, right? It's been around in movies for quite a long time. Movies like Heat, uh, Collateral, uh, the town. These are all big inspiration for us and we really love the style and tone and that, that kind of gritty fantasy that you see in these kinds of movies. And we wanted to deliver this experience to players in the Battlefield form. As you know, Battlefield offers a huge range of different types of experiences and that's one of the things we're very focused on with Battlefield Hardline. We have a lot of exciting announcements upcoming for you about different game modes and different styles of play and we really want to make sure that we cater to all those individual play styles and those niches that Battlefield traditionally does. Whether it's small, close quarters, tight maps or large, sprawling rural maps, we've got you covered. We may be doing some interesting things you haven't thought about also. That is it, that is E3 2014 done. We've seen some incredible games that I cannot wait to play. Thanks for joining me guys, see you next time.